NBA prize picks for Monday, October 28th. I'm Sniper from DFS Army. We got the prize pick streak play. We also have the rewards slip to get to. So that means today, instead of one pick, I'm going to be doing four. Do me a favor, hit that like button. I'll hit the intro and we'll go to work. All right, first up, we're going to look at Ja Morant. 19 and a half points is the line that we are going to be looking at. I just realized I don't have a tab open that I need, but I do have open the DFS Army Prop Optimizer. Let you compare prize pick line, sportsbook odds, and our projection model to help you find plus EV plays. First thing we're going to look at, we're going to look at Ja Morant. 19 and a half points. The odds slightly, very slightly lean towards the under. Well, actually, a little more than a little bit slightly because... The sports books actually have this at at 18 and a half. You get 18 and a half on DraftKings, slightly shaded towards the over, but prize picks the line is set at 19. Our projection model has it at 18.59. So we're also going under this uh, 19 and a half mark. It's the tab I wanted. It's the DVP tab, defense versus position, still sorting by uh, last season. A few more games and we'll start using the 2024 2025 stats. Going to pull up the point guard position. John Morant's playing the Bulls. We'll sort by points here. We'll see if it is a good matchup based on stats from last season and a little bit of this season. I think they're all baked in here. And it's a pretty middle of the road matchup is Chicago actually um, sitting top 10 or just outside the top 10 in terms of defense. So good defense. I'd say under 18 and a half. I also uh, would take the under 19 and a half points for Ja Morant. But let's see if it ranks as our top play once we go through all three plays on the prize picks streak board. Zach Levine, 20 and a half points. Same game, other side. Let's go back to the prop optimizer. Let's change who we're looking at here, make it nice and easy. When we do our four, our um, slip of four full plays, we'll pull up all the plays and see what the top on the board is. So 20 and a half points. We are leaning slightly towards the over here. Drafting's a 20 and a half towards the over. BetMGM is 19 and a half, but juiced up at minus 135. Uh, he's been over every game in the regular season, three straight games, 27, 25, 22 so far this season. Projection model is just a touch under 19.89 as he's taken on Memphis. Let's go to our DVP chart and let's change over to the shooting guard position and we'll sort by points and memphis sixth best uh dvp points against the shooting guard position makes me hesitate just a little bit here the way zach levine has been playing i'm probably going to go with the odds in the form and against the dvp and the projection is just slightly under i would lean towards the more for zach levine but I do like everything to line up, so I actually would feel a little bit better about the Ja Morant play. But I'm hoping that Nikola Jovic is kind of all systems go across the board here. And that will set us up a little bit better with a more confident pick. Let's go ahead. Let's turn on Nikola, not Jokic, Jovic. Imagine getting 15 and a half on the Jokic line. Be pretty, pretty sweet. Oh, I still have Zach Levine mixed in here. Let's turn this off. Uh, Jovic points, rebounds, and assists. Prize picks at 15 and a half. Most of the sports books, it looks like, have it at 14 and a half, but juiced up at the over. DraftKings has it on the under a little bit at 15 and a half. He's also been over in both the regular season games so far 21 against Orlando, 20 against Charlotte. Projection model 16.03. We are projecting this over. If I go to, um, sorry, clicking around a little bit on you. Go back to our DVP chart, pull up the three. Uh, Detroit is actually fifth worst points against this uh, small forward position. Rebounds also 10th worst. I can't imagine assists is any better here. They're in the you know, top 10 worst DVP in every category. I would definitely take the more on this play. So don't go anywhere yet, but the prize picks are streak play. Let me make sure nothing got added here towards the bottom. We didn't. Got a couple uh, World Series plays, Monday Night Football. 
John Murray, so let's rank these three plays. I'm going to go, we'll do a full slip here in a second, but for the streak play game, least favorite play would be Zach Levine, more than 20 and a half points. Silver medal play, I would go John Morant, less than 19 and a half points. I am going to go Nikola Jovic, more than 15 and a half points for our official streak play. So that's part number one here. We have our streak play pick, but don't go anywhere. We have a rewards lineup because we've hit a couple on the streak. Uh, two days ago, we gave away um, a winner on YouTube. Sundays, I don't usually do a video. Did a streak play winner there as well in Discord. So we have our free lineup, and that is four picks. We're going to keep the video consistent. We're going to go NBA and give away some more picks here. But we're just going to use this tool. We're hopefully going to show how easy this tool is to use. Let's turn all the players back on. I'm just going to go, we're going to go, I want odds and our projection model and some form to line up here. So I'm going to scan through and find the plays I like here. Zach Eady, more than seven and a half points and assists. It's okay. He's been, well, he's been over one of the last two games, but our projection model is way over at 9.71. Taking on Chicago here. Let's go look at our DVP. See how Chicago does. Defending the center position. Again, pretty good defending the center position. Let's see if we can find anything else we like a little bit more. Uh, Josh Hart, less than nine and a half points. I, 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 or 11 and a half points. I don't trust any Josh Hart less than I can't. I'm a Nick fan. I can't figure out this friggin' team right now. So I'm going to, I'm going to let that settle uh, just a little bit, quite honestly. Onyeka Okongwu, uh, less than 13 and a half points in assists. Our projection model is at 12.65. Only under one of the last two games, it's got Washington here. Let's see how Washington is defending the center position. And they are among the worst, it looks like. So don't think I'm going to go ahead and play unders on Onyeka. Uh, Patrick Williams, more than four rebounds. I'm just going to go back towards towards the top here. Let's, let's just line up some uh, projections and plays here. I am going to go back. I am going to play Zach. He's a middle-of-the-road matchup. Rookie gets some uh, some defense from Vucevic in this game. We're only looking for 7.5. We'll go ahead. We'll play the under the over here on Zach Eady. Eddie, it could be. And it's interesting. 7.5 is a fire play uh, for points. It's 7.5 points plus assists. I know he's not going to put up a ton of assists, maybe one, but I mean, the number's at eight. I, I don't see why you wouldn't take a shot here on the points and assists line. Uh, next play we're going to look at, we're going to go ahead. I am going to skip over uh, Josh Hart. Andrew Nemhard, less than 13 and a half points and assists, has not been over that number so far this, this year. 12.2 on the projection model. Definitely feel good about the Andrew Nimhard under. Watch this be the game he hit some of those stupid floaters in the lane. But less than 13.5 points plus rebounds. We'll be playing number two of our rewards slip. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to avoid the push props here on the reward slips of four and 28. Some interesting numbers. Um, I think especially towards the Zach Levine PRA here would be interesting, but I'm going to go ahead and just avoid the push props. I want straight up numbers here. Tyrese Halliburton, more than 20 and a half points plus rebounds. Um, this game against New York, <laughs> the one here it was over last time, 26 against Philadelphia, hooked it in the season opener against Detroit, 21.63 in the projection model. Um, some books have it set at 21 and a half. I'm going to go Tyrese Halliburton more. And I like the a little bit of positive correlation here from going under on Nemhard. I do like the over attempt on Tyrese Halliburton. If I could type a Y instead of a U, that would help. We're going points plus rebounds. And make sure you find the right prop. That's play number three. And one more to get our free reward slip all locked in and ready to go. And I'm worried I just froze up a little bit on you guys. 
I mean, prize picks just froze on me, so that's fun. Let's see if I can open it up in another monitor here. Oh, another another tab. Play number four. I could go back to the beginning and I could um, put in that John Moran play. All right, looks like we we un we unfroze. Let's go one more here, and hopefully it doesn't happen again. Hopefully it doesn't skip too hard <laughs> when I go to upload this. That's the Tyrese Halliburton play. John Morant underplay is right here, but Walker Kessler points and assists. Big men over on points and assists. One on one so far this year. Projection model up is up, is up at ten point four five. Some pretty good odds value at minus one forty. Definitely what I'm going to be taking here. I'm going to try and wrap up this video before anything else freezes on me. Hopefully it didn't skip too bad. Points and assists more than seven and a half. Those are the three picks. So let's do the free slip and the. Street play wrap up here. Free slip, Zach Eady, more than seven and a half points and assists. Andrew Nemhard, more than 13 and a, or sorry, less, less than 13 and a half points plus rebounds. Tyrese Halliburton, more than 20 and a half points plus rebounds. Walker Kessler, more than seven and a half points plus assists. Gonna go ahead and lock in our free lineup there. We are submitted, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go. For our uh, streak play, Nikola Jovic, more than 15.5 points, plus rebounds, plus assists. If you want access to the tool you just saw, Sniper 20 gets you 20% off the DFS Army Props Package. More plays in the Discord as well. Tons more access to that tool. Price Picks, Underdog, Sportsbook, Sleeper. Come check that out. There's also promo code, Deposit Matches, all the good stuff there. But for now, guys, here's that daily reminder. That whether or not you are a DFS Army member, you probably should be. But either way, good luck in those contests. Let's cash this ticket, and I'll see you next time.